Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video, we will talk about uterine rupture. A uterine rupture is a serious complication and a gynecological emergency that occurs when the wall of the uterus tears open. A tear of the uterine wall is the most common during labor and delivery, as extreme forces of contraction and pushing work on the wall of the uterus. However, a rupture can also occur during pregnancy or in the weeks after childbirth. It is estimated that the overall incidence of uterine rupture is 3.3 per 10,000 deliveries. The incidence of uterine rupture is higher in women who have had a previous cesarean section with an incidence of 22 per 10,000 deliveries. What are the histological types of uterine rupture? We differentiate between two types of uterine rupture. In a complete rupture, the tear goes through the entire wall of the uterus, so the endometrium, the myometrium, and the perimetrium. While in an incomplete rupture, the outermost layer, which is the serous perimetrium, remains intact. What are causes of uterine rupture? A uterine rupture can occur due to a scar. This is the most common type of uterine rupture. It is most likely to occur in women who have had a previous c-section. The risk of uterine rupture due to scars increases with the number of previous c-sections as the scar tissue is less elastic than the uninjured tissue. A uterine rupture can also occur due to overstretching of the uterus. It is more likely to occur in women who have a narrow pelvis or who are carrying a large baby. It can also occur in women who are in obstructed labor for a prolonged period of time. Uterine ruptures can also occur spontaneously. Spontaneous uterine rupture is a rare type of uterine rupture. It is more likely to occur in women who have underlying medical conditions, such as a hemangioma or endometriosis. The last type is the violent uterine rupture. A violent uterine rupture is most commonly seen in motor vehicle accidents or falls. What are risk factors for uterine rupture? Having a previous cesarean section increases the risk for a uterine rupture, as at the area of incision into the uterus, a scar forms and the scar tissue is less elastic than the uninjured tissue. This is especially important in cases where a woman who has had a C-section tries to have a vaginal birth after a cesarean, often abbreviated as VBAC. This is because in a vaginal delivery, the pushing of the mother brings extra stress on the tissue of the uterus. Also going through multiple previous vaginal deliveries, Having a large baby, as in macrosomia, or if labor is being medically induced. Other risk factors are the use of a forceps or vacuum extractor during delivery and advanced maternal age. What are the warning signs of a uterine rupture? Warning signs of uterine rupture are signs that a uterine rupture might be about to occur. A characteristic warning sign is the bandle ring. The bandle's ring is a pathological ring that forms in the upper segment of the uterus during obstructed labor. It is a sign of impending uterine rupture. The ring is formed by the thickening of the upper segment of the uterus as it contracts against the obstruction. The lower segment of the uterus which is thinner, becomes stretched and even more thinned out. 
this can eventually lead to uterine rupture. A sudden onset of abdominal pain followed by pressure sensitivity in the ruptured uterus indicates that a rupture has occurred. However, an incomplete rupture may also cause no symptoms. After the rupture has occurred, the contraction activity abruptly ceases. In addition, no fetal movements can be detected. The baby's heart tones are bradycardic or absent. Fetal body parts are palpated close to the abdominal wall. Acute abdomen develops rapidly, which, due to the large blood loss, is accompanied by shock signs. A vaginal bleeding is also often observed. What are the symptoms of uterine rupture? The symptoms can be divided into two categories, the pre-rupture symptoms and the post-rupture symptoms. The pre-rupture symptoms may occur before the rupture actually occurs. They include an increase in uterine contractions and a significant pain sensitivity, especially in the lower segment of the uterus. The woman in labor is usually restless and very anxious and the baby's condition is impaired, which is indicated by an abnormal heart rate, which can be either tachycardic or bradycardic. The post-rupture symptoms occur after the rupture has actually occurred. They include a sudden onset of abdominal pain in the absence of contractions. Often vaginal bleeding occurs. We usually also detect a loss of fetal movements and bradycardia or absence of fetal heart tones. Upon palpation of the fetal body parts, we often notice that they feel close to the abdominal wall. How do we diagnose and treat uterine rupture? The diagnosis is usually made based on clinical signs and symptoms. Intravenous tocolysis with phonoterol and shock prophylaxis are mandatory and an emergency cesarean section should be carried out immediately. A cesarean section is also performed as an emergency if a uterine rupture is suspected during childbirth. If a uterine rupture has occurred without labor, a laparotomy is performed. In addition, hypovolemic shock is treated by administering volume or blood. If the wound in the uterus is not adequately treated surgically, a hysterectomy is indicated as a last resort. How is the prognosis for uterine rupture? Prognosis for uterine rupture is generally good if the baby is delivered promptly. However, there is a risk of maternal complications such as hemorrhage, infection and infertility. Is there any prophylaxis? Prophylaxis to prevent uterine rupture includes to avoid VBAC if the woman has a high risk of uterine rupture. Careful monitoring dur during labor and delivery for women who are at risk of uterine rupture. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you like our channel, please subscribe. And hopefully see you again in the next video.